Second and third floors, we are going to be moving that downtown branch into the second and third floors. Um, as you've heard previously, the first floor is going to be the public market, um, so that's still happening on the first floor. Um, the reason why we're looking to, ro um, to relocate there, uh, main reason is that Mass DOT owns that property, and we currently pay somewhere in the neighborhood of $1.3 million a year for rent over in Chinatown, and we'll be saving that rent. Um, as everybody has heard over the last several years, and we'll continue to hear um, about the cash flow problems for the transportation. So this is a way for us to save the DOT and the taxpayers some money by moving into a property that we own. It's also a building that's been unoccupied for almost 10 years now, and people have been asking us for all of those 10 years when we're going to actually do something and bring it back to life. So um, the entrance will be on, um, we call it Blackstone Street side, it, it could be, we call it surface area. It's that walk that faces the, um, the greenway. Um, there's a, you can see a doorway there now with a kind of a glass awning over it. That'll be the entrance. There's an elevator lobby right there. Um, and then the there will also be a grand staircase that will be put up. So if you can use the elevators on the staircase to go to the second floor. There's a, there'll be approximately 65 to 70 employees working there. All the services that are currently offered at the Chinatown branch will be uh, there and relocated there. Um, there are, people have asked this question, um, there are no driving tests that are given out of Chinatown, there will be no driving tests given out of Apostle um, 7. Um, there will be no difference. It will basically be the same operation will be moved over there. Um, it's about, construction is going to start in January. It's approximately a year's worth of construction. It's just a build out of the offices basically. There is no change to the outside of the building. The building is there, it's built. Um, be, the only two things we'll be doing to the outside is there will be some chillers put up on the roof, but they will be behind the parapet wall, so there'll be nothing that is you, you know, see from the outside. Um, and we will have signage um, to direct people to the registry. We do not have that signage yet. Um, we're not planning anything too elaborate. Um, Electronic signs, or nothing, any, nothing fancy or anything no, like not. that. But there will be no neon signs, or um, we won't be able to afford the electric. Um, so it'll be just some signs to be able to direct people, and um, you know, I'm happy to you know, share that with people when we have. But we're, we're not there yet for that. That will come as we get closer. We're planning roughly um, end of next year or early 2014 to move into there. Our lease does expire in April, but we just about negotiated an extension for another year to stay there so that they'll be able to get um, the construction done. So basically that's um, um, the other thing I should say is that um, approximately 30,000 transactions a month happen in that building. So there will be a lot of people that come there. Um, and most of the people that come to the Chinatown branch, if you've gone there, there's like no parking, so people are used to taking public transportation. Um, there is the orange line over in Chinatown. Over here we have the orange line and green line right on the back side of the building. Also, as we all know, at the Haymarket train station has buses, so there's great public transportation access and not station as only a stone's throw away. Many of the people that use the downtown branch are people that work in and around the downtown and walk there. Um, so it'll be, you know, we expect the same type of traffic not uh, providing any parking for uh, customers. Um, as I said, there's the parcel seven garage. People who come to the registry will not be able to be not afforded the discount that not that businesses, you know, the dollar for two hours. The registry will not have a stamp. So we're not looking to induce cars. We're looking for people to walk and they'll take public transportation. So that's what I'm planning. I'm happy to answer any questions. If I can answer them, I can get back to what myself is standing. I can anyone, anyone have uh, any comments or any questions? Uh, that space is currently on. Uh, the, whole, yeah, the whole building is currently on. The public market will be on the first floor, we'll be on the second and third. And then the fourth and fifth floor at some point will either be um, additional registry type offices or other mascot offices. But uh, that's what I'm planning to Not to change the subject, but. Mass dog, but you guys will come back when, when the market 
that's the the market the it the public, the, it'll be the public market um, folks that will come like okay. yes. but then already I I've been told um Stephanie will correct me but maybe sometime next year middle of the year we might start constructing okay and we're also we're going to stage as much of virtually all of our construction from the inside because right now the first floor is empty um, we may put a construction trailer um, on the far end towards the Sudbury Street end on the plaza as a work, you know, as a field office for the contractors. Um, they may go inside, but that's about the only thing. There will be a time when we have to lift the chillers up on the roof. We'll need a crane, but that'll be a permit to a BTD. And it'll be no different than any other business that has to change something on there. And a lot of times they do it on Sunday morning because they have to take the shoes. So for the most part, everything will be from the inside. Anyone have any questions? Go ahead, Vic. Uh, did you bring some renderings that you want to show us? I, I no, those ain't mine. Oh, then I'll give them. I think the worst interior. Not, everything's so interior, just building out off by counters and you know, waiting room and office space and stuff like that. There's uh, other than putting the chillers up in the roof and signage. There's no work to the outside. The building is what's there today. Anyone else? <coughs> Thank you very much. Appreciate your time.